Well, I want to ask you here just to switch topics. The city has been in the spotlight, obviously, nationally the last couple of days because of the protest at Columbia and then NYU, and it spread all over the country. Yesterday, House Speaker uh, Mike Johnson stood up at the podium, said that things are so bad that not only should the university president at Columbia be fired, but that maybe the National Guard should be brought in. To me, that's an indictment on the NYPD that you, you're not covering it properly. One, do you see it that way? And two, what are your thoughts about that comment that maybe the National Guard should be brought in? Well, first of all, I think he should look at his own home state and talk about where they need to deploy the National Guards and movement. New Yorkers would tell you we have the finest police department on the globe. And not only do we deal with, oh, deal, deal, we had to deal with over 500 protesters. Look at what hap was happening across the entire country, and you see how well they handled this, this, this situation. Uh, number one, uh, the constitutional right. Uh, to protest. I protested as a young man against uh, the South African apartheid. Uh, but what we're seeing here, and I think is outside agitators, as we saw with the Black Lives Matter marches, where outside agitators, they come and disrupt protests all over the country. Uh, we're seeing despicable terminology and words uh, that I think uh, it is in immoral. It may not be illegal, but it's in immoral. We will go onto college campuses, on private college campuses, when the presidents or the institutions call us. That's what we did when we dismantled the tent a few weeks ago. That's what we did this week at NYU. And you're seeing that we are keeping the law and order in this city and hats off to the New York City Police Department for being able to do so with so much else is going on. We have the Trump trial going on. We have protests of all other situations. We're fighting crime. They're able to multitask better than any police force in this country. Yeah, and they're able to multitask and have been doing it for decades. So I think that's one thing the NYPD can do is handle a bunch of different situations at the same time. I do want to follow up, though, because you brought up the outside agitator aspect, and that seems to be going on, and some of the accusations all around the country. Here on Good Day a couple of days ago, a couple of your police commissioners brought that up. What evidence do you have that there are outside agitators, or is that just your belief? Well, I, I think if you look at number one, I just finished reading the story in the Wall Street Journal uh, where the individuals who are given stipend and paid uh, to carry out various acts, and some of those acts have gone viral. And then I reflect on the time that when we had the Black Lives Matter marches, there was a rightful uh, protest that people were calling for reform. But then Intelligence Division uh, shared uh, with us that there were outside agitators, anarchists that came to the city. They had frozen water bottles. They had bricks and stones. They were organized to disrupt the crowd. Think about what happened down at NYU. Uh, when you saw individuals throwing bottles, throwing chairs, denting the helmet of a police officer, if police officers did not show great reform, a, re a re refrain, you could have seen a very volatile situ situation. And so we're seeing some familiar faces that are in various marches and protests that we believe that they're continuously to infiltrate these marches and want to cause some serious conflicts. And we need to stay on top of that.